Sa maikling video ito guys ay malalaman natin kung tama ba mali ang ating probability distributions at ito nga ang properties of probability distributions. At tulad nga ng nasabi ko sa intro, para malaman natin kung tama ang ating probability distribution, kailangan ay naaayon siya sa dalawang properties na ito. First, the probability of its value of the random variable must be between or equal to 0 and 1. In Zimbol, the probability of x is between 0 and 1. Second, the sum of the probabilities of all the values of the random variable must be equal to 1. In Zimbol, we write it as the summation of p of x equals 1. Again, kailangan masatisfy sa dalawang yan ang ating probability distribution para sabihin natin ito ay tama. Kailangan na nating suriin yung ating example 1, the probability distribution of a discrete random variable y representing the number of heads of two sing two coins. Para sa ating property number 1, the values of the probabilities must be between or equal to 0 and 1. The values of the probabilities are only 1, 8, and 3, 8. So check tayo sa property number 1. In property number 2, the sum of the probabilities must be equal to 1. So 1, 8 plus 3, 8 plus 3, 8 plus 1, 8 equals 8, 8 equals 1. So check din tayo sa number 2. Therefore, the probability is correct. Next example natin is the probability distribution of the discrete random variable R representing the number of defective computers. Tingnan din natin kung tama ang probability distribution na ito. The values of the probabilities are 0 0.10, 0 0.40, and 0 0.50 are all less than 1. So check tayo sa property number 1. Kapag pinag-add natin ang probabilities 0.10 plus 0.40 plus 0.50 equals 1. So check din tayo sa number 2. So it means this probability distribution is also correct. And for our third example, the probabilities of a customer buys 1, 2, 3, 4, and 5 items are 0 0.25, 0 0.18, 0 0.34, and 0.13, and 0 0.08 respectively. The values of the probabilities 0 0.25, 0 0.18, 0 0.34, 0 0.13, 0 0.08 are all less than 1. So check tayo sa property number 1. 0 0.25 plus 0 0.18 plus 0 0.34 plus 0 0.13 plus 0 0.8 equals 0 0.98. 0 0.98 is the sum of the probabilities which is not equal to 1. So therefore, not check tayo sa property number 2. Therefore, this probability is not a correct probability distribution. Proceed tayo sa ating last example. The probability of a customer buys 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 items are 0 0.12, 0 0.20, 0 0.33, 1.3, and 0 0.08 respectively. In the values of the probabilities, 1.3 is greater than 1. In property number 1, the probability of x must be between or equal to 0 and 1. Since this is greater than 1, therefore no need not to go on to property number 2. We can now say that the probability distribution of this particular problem is not correct. Ganon lang siya guys, kailangan check siya sa property number 1 at property number 2. Otherwise, the probability distribution is not correct. Uh -huh.